Hi, this is Chris with CoachChris.com, and today we're going to cover a, a topic very quickly, and mainly because I'm hungry and I'm 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 really haven't eaten yet, but I I was excited to give the information and let's get this rolling. Let's get this rolling. Okay, can you get a job without any experience? Yes. Yes, you can. Today, I in fact did that very thing. I got a job without any experience. Uh, well, let's clarify. Working experience, right? Because you can't just say that you have no experience and then walk in the door and not know what you're gonna know. I mean, that's just kind of obvious. But, excuse me. But as far as can you get a job without any working experience in the field, yeah. And today I did that very thing. I got a call for an interview uh, that I, or I got a call from a place that I had interviewed. Today I got a call following up to an interview that I had offering me a position as a front-end web developer. So yes, you can. Now, as far as how that happened, what were they looking at? They were looking at my work. So I have a lot of personal projects that I work on. Uh, that I've created, that I've done, uh, whether it be um, on my own through various tutorials and then change it to be my own, or I uh, change something or learn bits and pieces, built my own thing or whatever the case is, and put that all together. And that's what they were looking at. That's what they were reviewing with me to go over, well, you know, how'd you feel about this? Why'd you make this decision? That kind of, those kinds of questions. But it's a very simple question, the question you want to ask, and the thing is that if you're Googling this question and you come across this video, if you're Googling the question of can I get work in software, in web development, in whatever without any experience, the answer is yes. So to clarify a couple things, one, I did not go to school or college for this. I am self-taught and I've done everything on my own through the resources of the library and the internet and you know, occasionally pay for a couple of additional resources. Uh, there's free tutorials, there's cheap tutorials, there's monthly tutorials, uh, both video, both reading material, there's manuals, you name it, it's available to you. You can self-teach yourself. End of story. Next, uh, did not go to boot camp. Once again, was self-taught, so. I did change careers. I was originally I was originally in character animation and motion graphics, that kind of stuff, and now I'm going into web development stuff, right? Uh, nonetheless, I found some overlap and I found how to make it work. But if you're asking yourself, well, I can't change careers, yeah, you can, and also you can find out where those field changes do overlap because some things will transfer over from your old skill set to this new skill set. And you have to modify and sort of reevaluate what is it about the job that you like, what is it about the skill that you like, and what is it that you can take with you to another job, another position, and that. So you're Googling this question, you're looking up this question because you don't know if you can do it, right? And you're looking for some sort of validation that, well, I don't have any experience, can it be done? And so I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. Yes, it can be done, and as of the moment of this video, it literally has been done. Well, how long will it take? Well, you're asking the same question that I was asking, and the same question I was asking is, well, how long will it take? Uh, which steps are involved? And I go through all of that in my other videos, and you can go ahead and check those out as far as all those other questions and other details as far as the most common ones you're gonna have. And I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep posting them throughout time. So, but in a nutshell, you're looking for the quick answer. The quick answer of, the quick answer is yes. The quick answer is yes, you can do it. It's gonna take some perseverance, it's gonna take some education, some due diligence. You know, you, say, you hear the same thing over and over. I'm not the first person. I, I am sure I am not the first person to tell you you have to work hard, you have to really be motivated, you have to see what you're willing to sacrifice and where is your time going. Let's face it, I am not the first person to tell you that. Uh, and I, I, I'm surely not going to be the last person to tell you either. 
However, you go through that process, you be diligent, you achieve that first goal, and then you go for the next one. Uh, so my first goal was to get a job in the field, in the marketplace, and that's what I have now. And from here, I have uh, steps I need to take forward to advance myself, to learn new things, learn new skills, and I'm going to be in a, a good environment that has people that can help give me that knowledge, help grow me uh, in this field, uh, in my career path. So, with that being said, this is Chris. This is Chris with CodeChris.com. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I am going to go eat because I am starving. Uh, it's been a while, so let's grab some food.